Dial her. What you did was cruel. Oh, what I did was cruel. <laughs> you could have had anyone and you knew she was my closest friend. It was never meant to be an affair. Oh, it just happened. Are you physically incapable of taking responsibility for your actions? There's a problem we seem to share. If you'll remember, I gave up everything once to prove how much I love you. I returned the favor. I helped you destroy a man. Oh, no, no, no. That was your idea, not mine. You did what you did to save yourself as much as me. A compromise I'm reminded of every day. You got plenty in the bargain. Do you like the necklace? What woman wouldn't? Just curious as to why you're angrier today than you were yesterday. Because yesterday I didn't have a house full of unwanted guests. Where are the to you? Fine, you don't like Tom's politics. Oh, I couldn't care less about his politics. It's him I don't like. Well, he's done more for us than we'll ever be able to do for him. How could I ever forget? Oh, come on. So I'll be over before you know it and then... We can go to Paris for a few days, you know, whatever you like. I want to make this right. Then you never should have slept with my best friend. I'm gone, what, two days and Daniel's off the wagon. How'd you let that happen? I had my hands full. Perhaps you can tell me where your hands have been. I think I wouldn't notice the gaping hole where $10 million used to be. I've seen the bank receipt. I was trying to protect you. The only thing you were trying to protect is your weakness for her. She has the power to expose us, Victoria. I didn't have a choice. You could have called her bluff. After 15 years of complicity, I don't think Lydia has it in her. Maybe not before you exiled her, but thanks to your handiwork, she no longer has anything to lose. I'd say we got away with a bargain. It's because of your handiwork we're in this situation in the first place. Excuse me, I really do have to take this. How'd you like the surprise? Well, if sending Lydia over to our house is your idea of a surprise, then you've grossly misjudged my sense of humor. Wait a minute, Lydia came to the house? You've completely mishandled the situation. You're, you're right, I'm, I'm sorry. I'll talk to Frank and decide how best to proceed. In the meantime, try to find in your heart to accept my honest apology. And if not my apology, then at least accept the car. What car?